Hello everybody, we're Team 5. Uh, my group members are Brian Cook, Josemi Santana, and I am Eduardo Vargas. Today, we will be reviewing the car assembly process. Car assembly has undergone four major stages since the late 1800s. First major stage involves a stationary assembly line in which workers would bring tools and parts to each vehicle. After following that was the implementation of the mobile assembly line in which <coughs> Chassis were brought to worker stations and workers would further assemble the vehicle as they came by. In conjunction with that, the, inter the <coughs> implementation of interchangeable parts allowed for mass production. Presently, the introduction of robotics and computing power have further revolutionized this process. Before 1907, car assembly was slow and expensive, requiring 12 hours for a rolling chassis to emerge from a factory. In comparison, by 1927, the same process only took 24 seconds. Assembly lines were stationary, which meant that workers had to carry heavy tools and parts to each vehicle, which was slow, inefficient, and often dangerous. As a result of this, only the rich could afford a car. Many Americans thought the automobile would be a fad. By 1907, Henry Ford pioneered the first moving assembly line. This, further, this revolutionized the car assembly process from <clears throat> till even present day. The <clears throat> introduction of interchangeable parts by Henry Leland, the founder of the Cadillac Car Company, allowed for mass production of vehicles. In fact, Henry Ford produced 15 million Model T Fords from 1907 to 1927. In conjunction with this mass production and the efficiency of the new assembly process, workers' wages were increased from $2.50 a day to $5 a day, meaning a work, an average assembly line worker could purchase a Ford vehicle with four months of pay. The price of the vehicle also decreased as the efficiency of the new process <coughs> increased. Starting in 19, 1908, the price was $850, <coughs> decreasing to a low $260 later on in the process. Eduardo Vargas will now discuss the current state of automotive assembly. Thank you, Brian. Current day assembly line involves both, involve both the use of robots and humans. Some robots that are used in current day assembly processes are the robot arm, which is very similar to the human arm. They also use conveyor belts same as in the movable line, but these conveyor belts now have the capabilities of communicating with the factory in order to synchronize their production rate. Um, overhead and hoist systems are also used in these factories in order to uh, help workers move around the cars in the factory. Uh, uh, the Spartanburg uh, factory in South Carolina actually incorporates all these three ro robots into the manufacturing of the vehicles. Some advantages to the modern uh, day car assembly process is the number of vehicles that can be produced. Um, this number is very large. Actually, in the last quarter of 2009, Ford uh, produced over half a million vehicles. Uh, due to this uh, great number of production, the price of the vehicle has gone down as well. Uh, the process is also highly efficient, but like with anything in life, there are disadvantages. The major disadvantage is uh, the humongous capital investment. Some uh, factory, factories even uh, have to uh, even take more than a billion dollars to start up. Um, the process also is very rigid. That is, it follows very strict guidelines. So it is very difficult for, for car manufacturers to uh, update or change the production line. Uh, workers that work in the production line become very bored due to the repetitive tasks of the job. That's why uh, some car manufacturers have uh, decided to uh, create programs to motivate their workers as to keep up the, the quality and the production rate. And perhaps the biggest obstacle or disadvantage is the energy crisis. The, these plants use humongous amounts of energy which uh, contaminate and uh, release CO2 emissions. Uh, but engineers in recent years, especially in the, the BM, BMW engineers in the Spartanburg, South Carolina factory, have uh, uh, been able to use methane gases from a nearby landfill to power up their their uh, their plant. Uh, currently, their uh, this methane gas provides for 63% of the energy of, of the plant's total energy usage. 
Um, now we'll pass you over to, uh, to Joel, who will uh, explain uh, emerging technologies. Thank you, Eduardo. Um, I'm here to uh, explain the emerging technology, the technologies and the future of, of the car manufacturing process. Even though today's company, uh, today's factories are highly mechanized, um, they, they mostly use um, robot design, which are rather simple, and with few degrees of freedom. And thanks to um, advancements in, the, in technology in the mechatronics, uh, in the mechatronics field, in recent years, we are allowed, to, uh, it's been allowed to build more complex uh, robotic arms with very high degrees of freedoms, which when compared to human labor and the um, current robotic labor uh, employed in factories, it has greater av advantage versus humans, it could, it could lead greater uh, weight uh, with a higher precision, uh, with the repetitiveness, repetitiveness um, the robot allows, uh, against all design uh, robots, uh, these uh, more versatile uh, arms uh, offer the ability to, to perform different jobs and different tasks with only minor changes uh, in their tooling. This um, effective, uh, this actually improves on uh, cost of retooling and when a model is changed or if you need a variation in model, uh, also, maintain maintenance cost uh, drops down because uh, since all the robots have the same parts, unlike before bespoke robots, you could interchange parts into them, uh, into them and uh, they benefit from mass production. <coughs> and that technology leads to this. Uh, this car, known as the T25, uh, is a concept proposed by uh, award-winning uh, English engineer Gordon Murray. Even though this car by itself is rather revolutionary uh, in, very on the, uh, in various uh, transportation uh, ambits, um, the most revolutionary uh, part of it is the production method offered by Gordon Murray. Instead of using uh, huge uh, uh, facilities which produce mm, uh, cars for the whole, for every market, Gordon, Murray, uh, Gordon proposes using a smaller, more localized facilities which only produce mm, uh, cars for the local market. This, this concept, however, is only um, possible thanks to the previously discussed multitasking of the road arms in recent years. This model uh, benefits from being more flexible to local economy, more flexible to local demand, customer demand, and uh, in, and in turn, uh, more efficient overall. Now, Brian will conclude this session for us. Thank you. The car assembly process has come a long way since the late 1800s. From small bicycle shops to present day massive factories, <clears throat> the car assembly process has seen many benefits. Today, car assembly is very precise with the <clears throat> aid of computers and robotic arms. As a result, prices decrease as quality increases. Customization now is available with easy um, machine retooling and advanced technologies allowing for customers to have more customized cars at lower prices. We'd like to thank you for viewing our presentation.